Hi, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis4teachers.org. If you are joining us for the first time, you might want to go back for the bump multiplication games and check out level one and level two, as this level is the highest level in the bump multiplication series that we have that's going to be called Bump Unlimited. Again, when you have the game boards for Bump, which is a free download on our website, um, you wanna make sure that the students are doing them in the order of the patterns of tens and fives, two fours and eights, three, six, nine, and then seven is usually taught alone with five and two. You can use this video for a variety of reasons, for parents at home. You may also want to do it for a students to watch it in class and learn how to play the game. Or the other option is for students to tune into our YouTube channel, learn how to play the game, and they can do the rules and figure out how to do it on their own. Last few videos we've gotten a little bit easy. So we're gonna kind of pretend that we know our tens and fives and our twos, and we're gonna move on for the Bump Unlimited game to look at our level that is Bump times four. Bump times four is gonna help us with our four facts. Also looking at adding dice together, kind of decomposing numbers, and really seeing where we can kind of go with um, the concepts of our multiplication that we're learning. The materials I need are obviously my board, and then each player needs 10 clear counters, is my preference, but they do need to be two different colors. So my partner has 10 blue counters, I have 10 red counters. In this game, We've made the game board versati versatile in the fact that you could either do the times four up to just 10, which you look at these darker colored orange with the white, the white font, we're gonna use a 10-sided dice. The 10-sided dice in this case is going to have the numbers zero to nine. When you use 10-sided dice, some games are gonna have the zero be a zero or sometimes it's gonna be a 10. In this game, the zero would be a 10. The other option is to play with just two regular six-sided dice. If you do this, you could also get to the point of doing 11 times four or 12 times four. The option is yours for however you'd like to do it or what the goal is of what you're doing in the classroom. For this demonstration, we're going to use the regular dice because I'd like to include 11 times four and 12 times four. In this game, if you roll doubles, the other person, you get to, I mean, if you roll doubles rather, the person gets to have another turn, which is kind of great because it gives me more of an advantage to get rid of my counters. I'm gonna go ahead and roll first. I have three and two. I'm gonna add the total or the sum of my dice to figure out what I am multiplying by. So three plus two we know equals five. So it's asking you for five groups of four. One option for five groups of four is to just go ahead and get rid of one counter. That's a lot like level one. Level two allowed you to split or decompose the number that you rolled and do them individually. So three groups of four, which I know is 12, two groups of four, which I know is eight. If I added 12 and eight together, I know that I could add these two parts together to get to my product, which is 20. In Bump Unlimited, you are allowed to get rid of as many counters as you can, as long as you can give reason as to why you're doing it. So if I was looking at 20, I might look at a variety of things that I might be able to play on the board to get rid of more counters. I might be able to take 20, which is my product, and I might be able to put it one on 12. I know the other part that I need is eight, but I'm gonna to decide to use this four to get rid of more counters. So again, five groups of four is 20. That's the product that we're looking for, but I am able to take 20 and add my product up with any of the numbers on here. So I know that 12 plus four is 16. My target number is 20. I'm going to crown the four. So if you added 12 plus four plus four, it totals my product. A lot higher skills are used in this game because you're having to figure out how to decompose and come up with that product based on what you rolled. In this case, this counter is bumpable. This counter here, because I have one on the four, I've crowned the four. And so the four is no longer an option to be able to use during the game. So if my partner needs to use four to help kind of come up with their product, they can't use it and would end up having to find a different option. It's my partner's turn, so they're gonna go ahead and roll. 
my partner ended up getting 11. 11 groups of four we know is 44. But my partner can take that number and his product and he can decompose it to find the total of the product using any of the numbers on here. He's gonna to decide to just put one on the 44. There were other options that he could have done, such as putting it maybe on 20 and 20 and four. Oh, that wouldn't work because 44, that's covered. Another option my partner could have come up with is looking at other ways that he could have made 44. So 32 plus eight would give me 40 but then he needs the four. So as you're looking at these options, students have to think about what the options are for them to be able to get to that total. It's my turn now, so I'm gonna see if I can get rid of more counters. In this case, I have my five plus one, which is gonna give my six, and six groups of four I know is 24. So I could just put one on 24 and be done with it. I could put one on 20 and then on four, but that four is taken, that one that I wanted. I think I have an idea. I might do 16, I'm trying to get to the product of 24 plus eight. 16 plus eight equals 24, but I got rid of two counters instead of just one. It's now my partner's turn. They ended up getting three plus one. Three plus one is four, four groups of four. He knows that the answer of that is 16. So the one option would be to go ahead and put it on the number 16. Another option might be that he might wanna do the double eight and bump me. Let's see what he does. He decides to bump me off the eight. Remember, his product was 16. He decided to get rid of more counters in the bump unlimited and do eight plus eight because eight plus eight totals the product of 16. It's now my turn to go. I have five plus one. Five plus one is six. Six times four is 24. My option here might be able to put it on the 24. I don't know that I can do the 20 and the four. That's not gonna be an option. If I looked at the 16 and wanted to put it on the eight, I can't do that because that's taken. So as you play the unlimited game, your options might become less and less, which means that one person who might be losing could start to win. My partner ended up coming up with three plus one, which is four. Four groups of four, he knows, equals our total of 16. There's limited options left because our fours are taken and our eight, but the nice part is he got to bump me off and prevent me from going out of counters first. We'll do one more round here. Five plus two is seven. Seven times four is 28. I can put mine on 28 and just do it. I could put it on 20, oh, but I can't because that eight's covered. I could have done it on 20 and then done, gone on the two fours, but that's taken. My ideas here are kind of limited for what I wanted to do. But I had my eye over here on 16 and 12. I'm trying to get the product of 28 is what I wanted to land on the total. I think if I do 16 plus 12, I could bump my partner, put back their counter, get another counter out, to bump, to, to crown my 12. I now own the 12. I only have four more counters until I might win. My count, my partner has more. This option of bump would continue play until one of us runs out of counters. From bumping, if you can't find any options and you're kind of blocked out, unfortunately you lose your turn. This is a great game to play and kind of go through the sequence of after you learn the four, start working on the eights if you've kind of got the two, four, eight pattern. We hope you found our video helpful to get bump into your classroom or your home. Feel free to visit us on sis4teachers.org.